Hello, I'm Beth Stanley, and we hope that this short little outtake will help you in your role play efforts in handling the now normal kinds of customer service situations that you might need to encounter. Hey, welcome to Trainer Entertainment Family Fun Center. Please come on in. Um, we're so glad to be out of the house. I can't tell you. I feel like we've been <laughs> caged up for so long. What do you guys have everything going today? Like what's we do? What's going on we do. Yes, we, we've got we've got everything just perfect for you all. Places to stand. Um, you want to be mindful of social distancing. And then I've got masks here for you. We're required to wear them as team members. And we recommend that you as a guest go ahead and wear them. May I, may I get you a mask? Sure, sure, sure. I, I, can, I can do that today. That's great. That's great. Well, have a great day. And um, I hope you uh, have more fun than you can stand. And thank goodness you're finally out of the house. We appreciate you coming to Train Entertainment Family Fun Center. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope what you noticed is she and I both smiled with our eyes. Maybe if I take my glasses off, you can see better. And a couple of other tips. I have a mask on, so I may need to speak up. I know I need to speak a little more slowly and I need to articulate because she needs to be able to hear me. And from a service point of view, you don't want her to have to lean in in order to hear. So speak up, speak slowly, and articulate and smile with those eyes. Thank you. Hey, hey welcome to Train Entertainment Family Fun Center. Please come in. Oh, we are so glad to be out of the house. So glad you guys got back open. We are so ready to be out here and get some time um, with our family. Oh, that's great. Um, how many are in your group? I have four today. So me and I've got three little ones here that have just been chomping at the bit. That's perfect. That's perfect. So a couple of things we'd ask you to acknowledge and kind of pay attention to, especially with your little ones. Mm -hmm. um, we do want to try to maintain social distancing. Your group certainly can be together. But when you get around other people, just maintain that six foot rule, if you will. And then we have masks. Um, as a staff, we're required to wear them. You all, as um, guests, we're re we recommend that you wear them. And so I've got them for you and your children. May I get them for you? Um, well, I've already talked to my kids about it. We haven't. They're, they're not down for the mask. It's really it's a bit <laughs> okay. hard. So I'm going to choose not to wear one just so okay. that, you know, that everything looks the same for me and my family. Okay. Um, but I thank you for the offer. But we're going to opt out this well, time. That makes Okay, that makes perfect sense to me. And um, like I said, just maintain the distance. That's the primary reason that mask is more protection for you guys. And if you feel good and protected, that's awesome. And if you need anything at all, me or any of the other staff that you see, we are here for you. Have a great day. Okay, thank you so much. All right. So you noticed I still smiled. I hope, I hope you could see I was smiling with my eyes. Mary, do you think they saw me smile with my I eyes? I think so, yeah. I felt good about it. I do also want you to notice I had no judgment about Mary's decision. This guest gets to do what they want in a scenario if your state or if your center is not requiring people to wear masks. So be really careful and don't judge or shame her. No matter what your theory is about mask wearing, in this case, where it's a recommended solution, the guest gets to make their decision, and you don't want to have any judgment or social shaming about it. Got it? Okay. This time, the center is requiring the masks to be worn. So watch, watch how the customer responds. Hey, welcome to Train Entertainment Family Fun Center. Please come in. Oh, uh, we are so glad that you guys got open. We're so ready to be out of the house. My four walls are closing in. Well, no doubt, no doubt. I'm excited to be here for you all as well. I do want to let you know that at Train Entertainment Family Fun Center, we do require all team members and all guests to wear a mask. 
So just wanted to know maybe if you have a mask in the car or if not, I've got masks that we can, that we can help you with. Hmm. Um, no, I don't have, I don't have masks in the car and I've got my little ones with me and it's just, we've kind of practiced a little bit, but yeah, we're, we're not going to do that right now. So I, I wouldn't be down for putting masks on my babies or, or me. I, to I totally understand. And I thank you. I, you know, we're, we're so respectful about what people need to do. We all need to make those decisions for ourselves. What I'd love to do, you know, things are changing by the day. It seems like, and I'd love to have your contact information. And the minute that that requirement changes, I'd love to just send you an email and let you know that come on in. Cause if that's the only thing keeping you and your children from playing today, as soon as that changes, I'd sure like to get you an update. How would that be? I would love that because we, like I said, we are ready to get out. I'm hoping it changes sooner than later. Sure. So yes, absolutely. Let me get you my information. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So now what you can see is again, hopefully you can see I smiled better without my glasses on and that, that i maintained eye contact with the customer. I let the customer know what our policies were. There was no negotiation with that policy. It is what it is. And then a way to kind of resolve the little bit of conflict that's there, because it is a conflict. She wants to come. Her children want to come. Heck, we want them here. But under the guidelines today of this center that's requiring, and your state may even require that people wear masks, I, I think if your state's requiring it, it's probably going to be a lot easier. If your center's requiring it and the state doesn't, you'll have the very situation that we pose here. Again, no shame, just matter of fact, this is how it is. We're, we care about your safety and about our team safety. We want you to come when you're comfortable. So hope that helps. Hey, welcome to Train Entertainment Family Fun Center. Come on in. Hey, 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 we're so glad you guys are open. We're so ready to get out of the house. No doubt, no doubt. Hey, listen, um, certainly everything is a, a, a new normal. And so one of the things that we're doing here at Train Entertainment Family Fun Center is we are requiring at this time for all obviously staff to wear a mask and we are requiring our guests to wear a mask as well. H have you brought one with you or shall I get you one? Well, it's not my favorite thing to do. I'm going to, I want to go on record about that because I'm not comfortable with them, but I do have one with me oh, for the places you. like you guys in the post office that are requiring <laughs> it at this point. I so, I so understand. It, it takes some getting used to. I, I am, I work with it every day myself and, um, you know, the, the thing that we're focused about is giving you a safe, clean, fun place to be and, and right now for today, we certainly feel like the use of masks are going to be the most important way to do it. I thank you so much. I uh, thank you so much. And I love your little children's masks. Those are so cute. Uh, thank you. We're, yeah. We're, we're, we're ready to be out of the house so we can, we can do this. Not my favorite thing though. I, I get it. I, I so get it. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Not everybody's going to like it. And every, little point of conflict doesn't have to be anything that you have to get anxious about. If you, if you noticed, I gave her a choice. I said, did you happen to bring a mask with you or would you like us to provide you one? It wasn't uh, do you want to wear your mask? It, we don't want to ask her yes or no. If it's not optional, it's not optional and you want to sell your way into them being compliant. I try to maintain eye contact. I try to smile. Uh, and I tried to create a connection. Uh, did you hear me empathize? Oh gosh, I know it does take a little bit of getting used to. That's what people need, guys. People need to be connected with. You need to be able to engage with them. This is a now normal, and it's going to take some practice. So I, I, I encourage you to practice with each other. Okay. Okay, here is the scariest one. The state has said it's up to the individual, but, but maybe your location has said you got to wear a mask. So this one could get kind of scary, friends, but I'm going to try to give you a model. 
that hopefully will work. So here we go. Ready? Hey, welcome to Creative Time at Family Fun Center. Come on in. Oh my goodness. We are so glad you guys are open. We've been ready to get out of that house. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad you picked us. Uh, it, it's so exciting to, to have you here. We're all kind of feeling our way around this new normal. And you had a lot of places you could go. I love it that you picked us. Yeah. Um, just want to give you a couple of um, new policies at our center here. And yeah. one, the first one is, is we are requiring all team members and all guests to wear a face mask. And so if, if you've got one, we would ask that you go ahead and put it on now. And if not, I, I've, I've got one I can give to you. Seriously? <laughs> yes. I, I don't have one. Okay. I, they, they said that we can kind of move about. Like I've got an appointment to get my nails done next week. Yeah. And you're telling me I brought my kids and we can't oh. stay because I don't want to, I, I don't want to do the mask thing i brought i brought money like y'all are open we we are gosh i really i really really hear how frustrating this is for you and you know we're all kind of feeling our way around and um at some point i'm sure that our policy will be different but today we have exercise and kind of that top level in phase one kind of paying attention to that ultimate level of caution no nope. Yeah. That is not gonna. That is not gonna work for me. I, I'm. I'm. Mm, no. We have rights, and they told us we can go. And I. This is sad, and I gotta tell you something. I, I'm. I won't be back. I won't be back. I oh, told you God. today, and I won't be back. Mm. Well, I hate to hear that. I hate to hear that because one of the things I'd love to do personally for you is if you've got a business card or if you would give me your contact the minute the policy changes, I hear how important this is to you and to your family. I'll let you know. You'll be the first to know when we are mask free. Well, here's my contact information, but if it's not quick, I will become more familiar with your competitors. I promise I, you that. Per, that. That makes perfect sense to me. And I, I do appreciate I'm so appreciative that you guys came and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody's disappointed. I'm sorry, kiddos. Next time, next yeah. time, and I'll I'll let you know. I, I'll I'll make sure that personally I, I'll let you know when and if the policy changes. Okay. Thank you for thank you for coming by. Okay. Yeah. So that was hard, wasn't it? That was really hard. that was really hard. Um, and I would suspect that there may be some issues like that. Um. I think they'll be few and far between. So oftentimes I think we like the hard, the hard ones are the ones we remember because they hurt worse. <laughs> and so um, I really don't think that'll happen very often. And hopefully those word choices it, it will, will help you. Did you notice I just kind of stuck with our policy? I acknowledged how she was feeling about it. And I tried to provide a solution for the future because today this is, this is what it is. I hope that was helpful. that helped uh, the thing is is I think you have to practice and you want to role play and create scary situations before they happen uh, because it's better to practice in a safe environment things that you should not and I hope you would not say are oh I hate to wear that mask too um, I know in the recording I was feeling like sometimes I was breathing in when I was trying to talk and you certainly don't want to share that with the customer. I would tell you that if something escalates beyond what you feel like you can handle, I think getting a manager uh, or a supervisor or somebody uh, that might be the next level up could be a, a solution. Uh, anytime you feel threatened as if somebody's going to harm you or if they're cursing at you, again, that's the time to get uh, a higher level human to get in there and help you. But just, just be careful. Well, empathize doesn't mean you have to agree with somebody uh, letting somebody through because they're having a big fit if your if your center says you have to do this uh, wear a mask get your temperature taken any of those things the first time you let somebody through <coughs> and say oh it'll be okay you're gonna have more trouble than you can stand so don't do that be very very consistent 